Today is Monday, April 8th, 2019, and this is the Kubernetes CSI implementation meeting. Um, so let's get started with PRs that need attention. Um, I still need to ping Saad about this. I didn't get a chance to ping him on Friday. Um, I will do that today. Sorry about that. Um, next up, we have two changes in the host path driver. Yeah, one is one is by myself. The other is from an external contributor who tried the deploy script on Mac OS, and I think both both are, are okay. So it just needs someone to approve them. Okay, cool. Sounds good. I can take a look at these. All right. One more showed up. Um, there's a snapshot or change that just showed up. Oh, I just added this one. Uh, I think Andrew was working on this one. And I think there's someone put a comment saying that without this, his plugin doesn't work without this PR. Um, so other than rebasing, are there other issues that needs to be resolved here? I see the whole comment here. Michelle has the comments and yeah. after that, and this one I think we update after that, so. I think we added a, we added some library to make, did we add some library to make this better? I think so. Yeah, I think there's one that probes forever or something like that. Yeah. Um, so, but then there's, there's one where you can optionally pass in a timeout, I think. Okay. Um, so I think I think here we just need to make sure that uh, check are we using the new updated libraries for this? Like I think wait for a driver ready. This could be replaced by the probe, the new probe call. Um, the operation time. Uh, the wait forever thing. That yeah. Uh, okay. And then uh, probably this part, I think this part's probably fine, um, passing in an operation timeout. Okay. Okay, I'll follow up here. All right, cool. Okay, thanks. Uh, I actually have another PR, just uh, trying to copy that link. Uh, it's also a snapshot. Uh, it should be a quick one. Basically, uh, let me find the link first. Basically, there were some files that should not be pruned, so I just added those back. Okay. So it be a small one. It's the code generator thing. Oh, uh, interesting. We need that to generate. Yeah, we need that to generate code. Even though it's API chain, we need those. So okay. Uh, it's a small change. So I'll add this one. You can take a look. Uh, okay. Yeah. Sure. I'll take a look at that. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Uh, any other PRs anyone wants to need the review attention on? Uh, the CI PRs, at least some of them, I think, are ready. The test infra one, I think that should be should address your your latest comments. Um, and that actually would be the most important one because then it it enables testing of the other changes. Okay. Uh, I have one pending for CSI release tools and four work in progress pull requests that add that new content to other other repositories which currently don't have it yet. But I'm I'm seeing one failure in one particular job configuration. So I'm a bit on a fence whether the CSI release tools PR should go in. I think it it would make sense to merge it. The, the failure seems to be in kind in that particular configuration and only if it runs in Brow. So it's a bit an odd case and some of the, the other pull requests can, are not affected. So I think that it would make sense to also merge the CSI release tools PR. Okay, um, I will go ahead and add those to my queue to take a look at. Yeah, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, 
next topic is um, um, it. Uh, next topic is we might need to release uh, the next external provisioner as a 2.0 because um, it sounds like uh, there was a breaking change related to the RBAC requirements in the lib external provisioner. I looked at the pull request and it doesn't change RBAC rules. What uh, was that yeah. added so this, later? This yeah. pull request forgot to change the RBAC rules and the RBAC rules were actually updated later. Um, but it was actually this pull request that, that added, that synced up the newer um, uh, lib external provisioner that required the new RBAC rules. Uh, is 2.0 but if we do one 2.0 release, that is not going to be compatible with Kubernetes 1.13, right? That's correct. So we need a bug fix release for 1.13 and a new 2.0 release? Um, potentially, it depends on what bugs we want to backport to yeah. the 1.13 one. I don't know how severe the bug is, but... Uh... So uh, I don't know. I, in the pull request, you asked for backporting. That's that's why I was wondering. Oh yeah, I think this I did not realize. So at the time when I looked at this, I did not realize it would also require new um, RBAC permissions. Um, and it looks like they did they did backport it to release 1.0 but we didn't actually um cut a release with it we we are going to run out of version numbers if we are not careful here because if we do 2.0 2.0.0 on the master branch and we require a breaking change on the release 1.0 branch, but what yeah, release so I, version number yeah, are you going so to give I, to that? <laughs> I'm saying that, so this change got backported to one release 1.0, but we didn't actually cut yeah. a 1.0 release with this. So we have the chance to roll this back and not take it. Yeah, but then if we decide to later take it, we, can't. we don't have a version number to give. Correct, yeah, we, we can't, we can't backport. Left. We cannot backport this fix because it's a breaking change. Yeah. Okay, that kind of makes sense. It, 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 how, how severe is the bug? Um, this was, let's see. This was a bug related to some deletion ordering if you deleted stuff in the wrong order. If you deleted the PV the PV before you deleted the PVC, then the delete never happens. Okay, so it's not unlikely that some user is doing that. It's but not yeah, unlikely. I guess but we'll. It's... Yeah. I guess I'm I'm fine with just keeping the bug open and and perhaps document it as a known issue in 4.1.13. Okay. Um, so in that case, um, I will go ahead and cut a 2.0 for the external provisioner. Um, if there were any changes that we wanted, um, any bug fixes that we wanted in the in this latest release that we wanted for to backport to 113 we can list them out here um let's see uh and we yeah i guess that's fine Um, this also means that your testing stuff might get complicated. 
because you cannot, you won't be able to test um, 113 with this provisioner version. That never was the plan because 113 was known to be incompatible with the latest canaries because of the, well, I oh know you're right. It's it's a breaking change. Uh, it it currently is possible, with because we are not changed. We are not depending, not enabling the alpha features. But yeah, I think I think that's not not an unexpected situation. We'll just have to disable some jobs that currently are enabled. Okay. Or 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 disable. Yeah, we'll we'll just we'll just deal with it. Okay. All right. Um, does anyone have anything else to on this topic? All right. Um, let's go to our one fourteen board. Um, so we are making progress. I think right now. What we have left is um, some docs changes, um, getting our CI jobs running, and then um, we still have one. Nope, it's done. Are did we? Are we done with adding the leader election to everything? Uh, so external snapshot are just merged. Uh, right. So I think so, yes. Cool, excellent. Let's call this done, yay. I'm gonna move this here. All right, um, so now what we have left for 114 is just to update all the docs and also um, cut new releases. So um, I think we are done with external attacher and external resizer. Um, I will go ahead and do external provisioner today. Um, Jan, are you able to take a look at no driver registrar? Okay. I think uh, no driver registrar might also have some breaking changes, but we might we might be able to restore some of the functionality to not make it breaking and instead deprecate stuff. Okay, I will check it. Okay, cool. Um, and then, uh, Shing, are you, is there anything else we're waiting on for the external snapshotter? Oh, I guess you, there were yeah, a like, few. Yeah, those two, I'd like to get those in. Okay, no problem. Um, it, so it be, will be 2.0 that we are releasing? Uh, it depends on if your sidecar is breaking or not. Oh, okay. Um, I think external snapshotter did not have any breaking changes go in, so it should be okay. Uh, okay, so that will be what? One, one dot one. Dot two? When, well, we already have one dot one. Oh, you do? We, we did, yeah, we did that last time, right? I thought, uh, I thought every sidecar has a 1.1. One one. Well, not one, uh, sorry. Oh, 101, sorry. It's 101. All right. So, okay. So this one will be 1.1? One, one one. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Um, so I think we can handle those three next. And then we'll look into the other two once we're done with that. All right, excellent. We are almost at the finish line. Oh, uh, one last thing was um, uh, resizing needs some docs changes. Hama, are you yeah, able to I work was, on that? Yeah, I, I was working on it. I half wrote it on Friday, actually. So just the docs and the community CSI repo, right? So yeah, that's right. Yeah. Cool. <coughs> I will All right. finish it. All right, thank you. Okay, um, that's it for 114 work. Uh, moving on to 115. Um, 
looks like uh, Vlad, you have a, a couple of items related to the inline volumes work. Yeah, um, you um, you did some reviews, I think, uh, Friday, and I'm going to um, update those. And I have some more PR comments this week as well. All right, excellent. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Um, what do we have? Has this, there's this cleanup um, item that you were helping to review? Yes, I, and I'm still review, I'm still helping. Uh, we're taking a different, uh, different approach. Uh, instead of submitting three PRs where the author had to do some trickery to make sure that because of the order of the PR going in. Uh, so we're just going to do one PR. Okay. <clears throat> and I told them to basically uh, segregate the, the commits so we'll know um, where to look. So that's that's where we are now. That's, that's, that's what I'm starting to do. Okay, cool. Yeah, if you want to add uh, that PR to this um, board here, that'd be Okay, cool. I will. Awesome, okay. All right, cool. Um, we'll skip over Rob Locke, um, since Ben isn't here. Um, we'll go into migration. Uh, Deep, do you have an update on this? Uh, no major updates since Friday. Uh, pretty much we are on a holding pattern with the uh, uh, with the support for the inline volume stuff. Uh, I got a cap from Jan around uh, the attached limits, so I was just going over it to. Uh, just to get an idea of some of the uh, changes being planned. Uh, other than that, uh, I think uh, there is some uh, resize migration work being started by Fabio. Uh, but again, like we haven't, I haven't had a chance to review it. Okay, awesome. If you can add all of those items to here um, so we can keep track of it, that'd be great. Yeah. Cool, thank you. Oops. All right, um, let's see. We already went over ephemeral volumes and these are no longer items. All right, um, let's see. Uh, John, do you have an update on the iSCSI drivers? Yeah, so uh, the lib changes emerged, so thanks for that. Um, and I did the rebase um, of everything and updated depths. Uh, so now we'll just wait for Wang Lin to do the uh, review on it, but it should be good to go. Okay, great, awesome, thank you. <clears throat> all right, um, so that's all I have for 115. Um, is there anything else anyone wants to bring up? Is uh, anyone taking up work to try using Go modules for all the sidecars? Um, no one has uh, taken up that item as far as I'm concerned, um, or as far as I'm aware of. Um, I think that would be a great task to take a look at um, so that we can try to solve some of our dependency issues that we've been battling with this past release. Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely don't want to commit to doing that work yet, but uh, I'd be happy to start some exploratory work to see like what it would take to do that and see if it's it makes sense to fit it into 115. Okay, yeah, that would be great. Okay, sounds good. I'll have something, I'll try to get an update for maybe sometime next week. All right, cool, thank you. Any other topics? All right, then I think um, let's uh, let's go ahead and end the meeting early today. Cool. All right. Okay. Thanks, everyone. Bye. 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 Bye.